and welcome back. We begin our final segment with a conversation this morning with uh, artist Chelsea Johnston. Uh, those of you guys who are in Belize City would have realized that the Belize sign near the Baron Bliss Lighthouse has gotten quite a facelift over the weekend and Chelsea is the person behind it. Good morning, Chelsea. Hi, morning. Um, yes, so um, let's start with, with, with just um, I've, I'm grateful that I got the job to, to do so, you know. Mm -hmm. As an artist, I get to showcase my, my art to not only Belizeans, but everyone around the world because they're coming in to see it. Mm -hmm. um, I've always wanted to do the Belize sign. Ever since it went up, I wanted to um, revamp it. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, bec from an artist's per perspective, it was just... Um, plain colors, just uh -huh. mm -hmm. basic colors, and I wanted more. Mm -hmm. And so when I got the um, call from, from the Belize City Council that they wanted it to, to get a revamp, I was so, you know, thrilled to, to get the Because you don't already wanted to I do it. I wanted it for years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ever since it was off, I wanted to change it, so, uh -huh. so I got the job. And how do you finalize your ideas for mm -hmm. it? There's so many different scenes that could uh, encapsulate what Belize is. Right. How do you decide what you were going to use? Um, well, I thought about what people saw already or mm -hmm. would like to see mm -hmm. and stuff that people don't really get to see mm -hmm. um, or they don't bring it out as much. Mm -hmm. um, for example, uh, I got a lot of questioning why did I put the ginger lily instead of the the orchid flower mm -hmm. um, the orchid you know we, we we're always seeing the orchid yeah. we have plenty more flowers in Belize that we mm -hmm. could we could mm -hmm. bring out and showcase so I change it up and I use the the ginger lily the ginger lily is very common also you mm -hmm. know when we get bouquets and mm -hmm. stuff like that if you go to resorts they're always there mm -hmm. so you know, it's, it's something different than, than just what we normally see. Yeah. How long did it take for you to, well, I know your son burned, <laughs> <laughs> but in terms of the actual hours that were invested in painting and, and beautifying the Belize sign, okay, so what I was that like? It, it was, it was um, not too long, about four days, mm -hmm. three to four days. Um, the sun, it, I got sunburned, but it wasn't that bad because the breeze was blowing, yeah. so I don't really mm -hmm. feel it, so yeah. uh, it, it's, it's fine. Um, and I've been doing murals, so it's mm -hmm. something that I'm used to. I don't really, and if I'm painting, I don't really feel anything, you know, it, it just comes naturally. It, it's no bother to me. Yeah. Now you've, you know, we, we've had you since you were an art student in, in school on right. the show. Um, looking at where you are now, did you ever see that this was going to be your full-time career as it is now? Actually, no, because um, coming out of sixth form, well, before I graduated, mm -hmm. I yes, I did art, it was graphic design, but it was office-based for a company. Mm -hmm. So working at Maya Allen Air, what I would do is come home and still paint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I do commission works after, after like the the five o'clock hour mm -hmm. and then I have them pick up their paintings and one day you know you had to make that decision because that's not what you want I, I don't want to work for someone I've always wanted to work for myself mm -hmm. I've grown, grown up in um, an entrepreneur family mm -hmm. and that's just what we do and I love painting and it's just my thing I, I do painting I do graphic design it's still art and I do it for myself, so I don't, I don't really care about the long hours, the, the sun, the sun, <laughs> um, because it's something that I love. Yeah. Yeah. And the the commissioned work that you get, are you surprised by how much people are coming? But they they tell you what they want, right? Right. Yeah. Yes. Um, so even painting, so commission work, yes. Yeah. Um, over the pandemic, mm -hmm. I I knock on wood, I don't know where wood is, but I didn't get any um, don't fall with mm -hmm. my paintings. Everyone wanted something to get done, you know. Um, they couldn't order stuff or things couldn't be shipped in, so they ordered paintings mm -hmm. for birthdays. Um, and it's sad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, It's sad, to, um, but I got a lot of 
um, dead paintings. Wow. Mm. And, and I always tell my customers when they pick up their paintings, I get like the, the little feeling that they were, they were there mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. while doing the painting. Like so a spiritual presence. Yeah, it, it, so, it, and I'm not a person that really <laughs> cares for that. But, mm -hmm. you know, I went through it and mm -hmm. because of the pandemic that picked up to do mm -hmm. more of those and yeah. What's your favorite type of work to do? Do you prefer the commission stuff or just having your freedom to, to be creative? I prefer the free on. Yeah. The, to just do my paintings. These are both just my paintings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, yeah, the commission comes after. Or if they give me the commission, I prefer that they just tell me, do whatever you would like yeah. to yeah. do. Commission you know? the painting, but you're giving the creative freedom. Just tell me more or less that you freedom. would like. Say, say maybe I want a Jaguar painting, mm -hmm. and then I could do something with the Jaguar mm -hmm. painting, mm -hmm. what I like. How do you go about pricing your pieces, though? Okay, so prices depend on the size and the image. Mm -hmm. I always tell my customers, you can have a four feet painting, but you just want something simple. Mm -hmm. It would be the same price for something small. So mm -hmm. it, it, it depends on the, the design and the mm -hmm. size. And the details so, were right. involved. Because yeah. this Macaw parrot is beautiful. It's right. <laughs> it's, it's He's simple. shopping. <laughs> yes. It's simple, but it's 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 rich in in color and texture. Yeah. Right. It's nice. It seems that you, you're drawn to bright and colorful right. um, pieces. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and I always sell them. My paintings are always colorful, and the way I dress mm -hmm. is very different. I dress it white, black, and nudes. <laughs> yeah. And my paintings are always bright. Yeah. yeah. It's an interesting sort of juxtaposition right because yeah. normally we say <coughs> some of us dress the way we feel right right yeah and, and to see that you keep it basic in terms of the colors uh as opposed to the actual paintings that you put out yeah, yeah. is an interesting contrast yeah because even um i had some some um people ask me why not why don't don't, don't you have tattoos because a lot of artists have mm -hmm. tattoos because mm -hmm. they express themselves through yeah. colors and stuff like that and I'm not that, I'm, I'm a plain canvas. <laughs> that's <laughs> it. <laughs> my artworks are on my, my, my paintings. Yeah. Oh, that's fascinating. Yeah. So let's, let's go back to the Belize sign and we'll go through each one that you decided to um, okay. paint and why. So I think I saw, was it a tarpon that I saw? Um, it's a fish. It's a fish. It's a um, marlin. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that's the E. That's the E. Yeah. The Z is the toucan. Uh-huh. And then the the L is the the lighthouse, of mm -hmm. course, and the L the, the I L is the, the, the I is the, yeah the J the L is the um the ginger flower, mm -hmm. the E is a sunset, mm -hmm. and the B is of the the blue hole. Oh, it's the blue nice. hole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you have other designs that you played around with before you decided on these ones? Um, actually. Only the letter Z, I wanted to put um, a butterfly in uh -huh. it. Okay. Yeah. And then, what made you change your mind? Um, it's just a structure. You wouldn't have seen the, the butterfly as much yeah. through the Z. So, I picked the, um, the, the two kind of came very that good It has a lot it of is. colors in it. Mm -hmm. And it, it fits with yes, the it fits. blue. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. So when you're planning out your design, you're trying to think, okay, which one can you still figure out what it is? Right, because what I do when I do my murals or paintings, I normally send my clients a graphic mm -hmm. before. And so if, if I don't like the graphic or if my clients won't like the graphic, I can fix it there instead of painting it mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. have to, you know, paint it all over again. Okay. Yeah. 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 So it's like you paint twice. Yeah. You do the graphic version and then and the then, real life then version. This, right. Okay. Uh, did you have any other element that you wanted to put in? You said that people were asking why not the orchid. You went with ginger lily. Um, um, no. Um, someone asked about uh, mananti mm -hmm. to be to be there, but I I did a mananti mural mm -hmm. down um, downtown, so mm -hmm. I wouldn't have put that in. Um, but I'm hoping that I could get the, the other Belize sign, mm -hmm. the one in Bot Botnum yeah. Bay, so that yeah. I can, you know, use those ideas in that design. Mm -hmm. And maybe ask the public to help me. Oh, that yeah, one. that'd be great. Yeah. What scenery cool. they'd love for them to, to, to capture. To, to capture in that one, right. Yeah. 
Well, how do you, I mean, how do you approach new projects like this? So you do murals and parks. We've seen some of your work before. You do paintings. Mm -hmm. When you get something like this, how do you approach it? Um, it, it I don't, like, it, it, it's not anything much for me. Like, it, it could be the biggest wall. Mm -hmm. It could be the smallest painting. And I take it on. I really... I, if I have to climb the scaffold, mm -hmm. I will. Mm -hmm. I really don't um, hold myself back when it comes to my artwork. Yeah. Actually, if you give me a bigger piece to do, it's it's better for me. I feel like I'm working towards something greater, yeah. and uh, it's a better image for image for me. And I'm progressing. That's what I think about. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell us about something something unique that you've done of recent. Some artwork that you've done that's unique. Um, or that stands out to you? I think the Belize sign. I've yeah. gotten a, a lot of, um, it, it went viral with yeah. the Belize sign. Um, I met a lot of people, a lot of artists worldwide. They came, tourists came in. Um, I had one from Greece, told me that he does the same thing mm -hmm. in Greece. Uh -huh. I had um, one in Mexico, well, Cancun. And I had another, I think it's Ireland, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. He's from Ireland. And they do the same work. I love this idea because the, the sign with the name of the country is very common. In fact, mm -hmm. right. <laughs> yeah. Belize wasn't it's like novel, novel in doing yeah. this. Everybody does it and they kind of do the same colors, solid colors. Right. So now we have a sign that stands out when people take their picture next to it because right. it has uniquely Belizean items. Mm -hmm. I've, asked, I've had some people ask me if they can use it on T-shirts and hats. Mm -hmm. um, I would need to ask the Belize City Council if I can use the idea, even though it's my artwork. Mm -hmm. I need to ask them, That's and then and I need to um, then give the permission to them. What With was the reception? You were out there three to four days doing this. Mm -hmm. What was the reception from passersby as they saw the painting come to life? Oh well, I had a lot of support and love mm -hmm. from the painting. Um, the bee was half done and people are taking pictures because <laughs> they, wanted, they wanted to take picture. Um, you know, supporters would pass by and they handed me, they asked me, you need something to drink? Mm -hmm. You want something to eat? So I got oh. beers, I got, um, I got ideal, you know, <laughs> I had food, yeah. whatever I needed, they, they gave it to me. Nice. Yeah, so. How does it feel? I mean, this is going to be your most photographed artwork. Ever. Right. Um, Have you put that into perspective? Yes, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm, that's why I, I told you, like, I'm thrilled from the, the, mm -hmm. the vi how it went so viral. Yeah. Um, just this picture I posted yesterday, yesterday morning, I think afternoon morning, mm -hmm. and I saw it on everyone's platform, and it was so, yeah. s I felt so much love. Aww. Yeah. And, you know, this is such a great opportunity, too, because when you think of, of, what it shows other artists to, the right. possibilities. Um, what do you tell up and coming artists about being able to kind of push the boundary and, and, and getting out there with their art? Um, never give up. If you have to paint something or draw something every day, it could be something as simple as uh, maybe an eye. Mm -hmm. You can see your progression with just an eye mm -hmm. every day. Um, your skill, will grow every day and the moment that you you put back on your skill you 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 kind of let it you know mm -hmm. it, it gets watered down yeah. and we yeah. don't want that um if you want to be an artist you can you know it's just like any other career mm -hmm. if you want to be a singer you can mm -hmm. and i wouldn't let anyone that's an artist bring or a younger student, mm -hmm. if they want to be an artist. You don't have to go through business and maybe being a scientist or mm -hmm. something like that. You can be an artist if you feel like you want to be an artist. Mm -hmm. I've had colleagues that came out of jobs that were managers at banks and they are, they are artists now, full-time artists. Mm -hmm. So you can do it. And Belize, right now I'm trying to my best to bring art out mm -hmm. in Belize. Um, using my murals and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. So if I have um, 
other projects, what I do, I usually ask artists to come out and help yeah. and use that to, to help them go viral as, as well. What's your wall wish list? Like, do you ever pass Perfect. like a blank wall and say, man, I wish I could just put this on that? There is, um, well, first was the, the Belize sign. Yeah. <laughs> I got Check. that. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, there is one, um, I don't know the lane, but there is one, the Mexicans did it the other day mm -hmm. um, off, off of um, Albert Street. There's uh -huh. a huge wall uh -huh. and I would like to do a piece right there. Um, just something Belize like, but yeah. um, with a Belizean sailing, saying like, this is we Belize or something mm -hmm. like that. And mm -hmm. you know, something nice. I have, I have the, the graphic already um, made. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh. I just need the okay to, to get a huge wall and go Swap from there. Nice. Yeah. Well, we look forward to seeing that one too. Right, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, how do people get in touch with you if they want to get uh, some work done? Um, they can you they can contact me by calling six three eight eight one nine eight. My social media I'm very um, known to be you know on social media at underscore Chelsea mm -hmm. or Chelsea Johnston Designs. Okay, well Chelsea, thank you so much for coming in and telling us a bit of the backstory. It's it's really cool when you think about it that you've passed the sign so many times thinking of all that you could do to it and now you put your stamp on it thank um, you. and a very unique Belizean stamp at that too so yes. thank you and congrats thank you all right we're going to go ahead and take the, our final break now and when we come back we'll have more wrap up so stay tuned